Hey, hey, howdy and happy day. 77% of all of Americans found in a recent poll that Biden was unfit to serve as president. 77%. Wow, that's a big number. Was it just Republicans? It was not. It was all Americans, independents, Democrats, Republicans. Almost 70% of Democrats said the same thing. I'm 100% certain that the alternative, which is, of course, the vice president, isn't fit to serve either, just saying, hey. Social media, they're going wild with this stuff about Biden because he's now wearing a mask again. They're saying, really? His wife has COVID. It's mild, a mild form. It's a second time, apparently, but he's masked up again and waltzing around with a mask on. And you know what? If you've been vaccinated a couple of times, you've had a couple of boosters, I'm talking now about the first lady, and you still get it, maybe the vaccine doesn't work. Huh, what do you think? Let me think, oh, I got it. And now he's walking around with a mask. Elementary schools in a few places. This one in Washington is in Washington, D.C. They're making their kids mask up again. This is insanity. I always marvel. I remember when the pandemic was on, I went into a grocery store. I was trying to be polite. I was having a polite day. I was going to wear a mask. I forgot. I actually forgot. I went in. I was at least 30 feet away from a woman who was masked up. And she went ball ballistic. She yelled at me. And how dare you come in here? And I stopped. And I said, hold it, lady. Firstly, don't be so rude. Secondly, you're dumb. Thirdly, you're vaccinated, right? Yes, she said. You're boosted? Yes. I said, you're 30 feet away from me and you have a mask. Why are you worried about me? Ah! But they always worry about you and me. Anyway, masking, is it coming back? There's all kinds of rumbles. They're trying. Remember, remember this, and I've said it before. Remember about the people in your family and friends. You wanted to go visit the hospital and you couldn't. You couldn't go to church. You couldn't do a lot of things. You couldn't go to weddings. You couldn't even go buy a flower in a flower shop because they were broke now. Remember that. And watch where you're led. Now, stores. Jumping here. Different topic. Now I'm talking about theft. This is good. It keeps, it's good for employment. It keeps people on the job, policemen, lawyers, and prison guards, and I guess this is good, almost $100 billion, almost $100 billion of retail theft occurred in 2022, and they're estimating that $115 billion will occur upwards to 2025. That's from bad guys, and that's what they count. They don't know. How do you know? Somebody goes in and they steal some M&Ms. Is that on the list? I don't know. I mean, I think they're probably talking about the big stuff, stereos, etc. All I know is... There's a bunch of thieves out there, and they're protected by the government. It's catch and release and all kinds of different things, and it's not nice. And good people are working hard, and good people won't stand for this much longer. So, hey, uh, good grief. Now, the United Nations, I've never liked them. They had their place after the World War. I get it, but they don't now. It's a bunch of globalists. They've all got together. They're unelected. They're unelected, they're unwarranted, and they're unnecessary. They're a group of lefties that they want globalization and they want the UN to control the world by people who can't be controlled because we can't control them. They have a new program now. They want to censor those who dissent from the official narrative of the rules of the planet, the rules that they make, and they're making all kinds of rules. They have this digital army now and they're looking for disinformation and of course, it's up to them to determine what disinformation is. And then they're going to counter it with facts, as they see it, from the UN. Have you looked at the people that work for the UN? Have you talked to them? I, I mean, uh, they're about as sharp as marbles. They're left-wing people. Woke? Ah, pick a new word for them because it's extreme. Woke on steroids, maybe. But they want to run the world. And many countries have bought into this. Canada and other countries are saying globalization is nice and we'd like to be part of it. The people, not so much. Leave us alone. Affordable housing. That's a buzzword for people that are elected or want to be elected. Elect me and I'll make it affordable, mostly from the people who were elected at the time and they made it unaffordable. Hey, they can't run a business. Government cannot run a business. The scariest words on the planet, of course, Ronald Reagan said, and he said it well. I'm the government. I'm here to help. Frightening statement. Get out of our way. Then prices will become affordable. All the trades have to charge more. Everyone has to charge more. And all of that money goes over to the home buyer. They have to charge more because of inflation and things that the government have allowed to happen because they can't manage the economy. They can't. And local governments, they charge so much. All that, again, goes back into the housing. The free market works. Leave it alone. Let us be free. Affordable housing? I, I've often wondered what that means. <laughs> it means government has another thing to talk about, and they can't fix it because they're dumb. 
Now, this has always interested me as well. The formulas for people, young people, to get financing. They go in, try to get a mortgage, and there's a formula. It doesn't matter how nice of a person you are. If you paid your rent for the last 10 years and your rent was 3000 a month and you now want a mortgage that's 2000 a month, the formula says that you can't have it. I don't think that's right. I mean, they should lend you money because you're a good risk. You paid your rent of $3,000 for the last 10 years. Nice person. Of course, I'll lend you money and you can now pay me $2,000 a month. But instead, they go by the formula. We need more banks that are owned by individuals and the bank acts need to change and relax the rules so people can go out and have a life. That kind of ties in somewhat indirectly to affordable housing. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.